So how much control do I have over that? And yeah, it's scary to, it's exciting and it's scary. It depends where you're at with yourself because you have this sense inside yourself that you're separated. There's this sense built inside us that you're the author of your own life you're the one who writes the book so you choose what to do and this is if your life is messed up it's your it's your doing you chose these things you made these mistakes and that's why you are where you're at so you keep blaming yourself and beating yourself up because you screwed up to get to where you're at. You made the wrong choices, you married the wrong people, you made bad business decisions, you lost money. Whatever has happened brought you to this point. So you keep blaming yourself. And you start taking therapy to work on your shortcomings because you screwed up and trying to fix it for me the more i realized the grace of my teacher that there is no me yet there is this sense of it but the more I dove into it, the more it becomes clear that A, there is no others, there is no enemy except what it appears to be. So the cruelness of life, that life which is very cruel, it begins to lose its power of something scary because it can't scare you because you start seeing it as your own self or as god as totality and in that your surrender begins to come surrendering into what is and starting to see like okay looks like i'm taken care of because somehow i'm always taken care of i mean that's my experience there's a lot of homeless people in venice where i live there's a lot of, we have a huge problem with homeless and they're on the street, but somehow I'm not on the street. And I've made a lot of mistakes and things have happened to me that I could easily be on the street too, but somehow something doesn't want me to be on the street and wants me to be here. Something's feeding me, something takes care of me. And yeah, a lot of times in the form of someone else, somebody else comes and helps you. But didn't someone else help you to get to where you're at? How did you get to where you're at? How many of us have become financially successful? Let's talk about money that from nothing from zero means you didn't inherit any money your parents didn't leave you any money your wife your husband didn't leave you any money you started you know you had nothing from zero you made it 
to be very comfortable. How many people do you know that they made it that way? Most people in life, somebody gave them something. They inherited or they married to money. So they got help. Or emotionally, you were supported. Emotionally, you got help. Intellectually, you got helped. So some you were really down, you were at the worst point in your life, you were in this deep darkness, you thought you're going to kill yourself, you thought your life is going to come to en the end, end, and somehow, magically, something showed up in your life, whether you got a book, somebody gave you a book, you found a book in a bookstore and you opened it and you started reading it, or you went to a workshop or someone in one of the members of your family showed up in your life or one of your friends or kids showed up in your life and they help you or you went to AA or uh, you found this support group, something happened in your life, magically, when you absolutely were desperate, and help you to switch and be safe. So, I started to see this through the grace of my teacher. And I started to see this line that runs through everybody. And this magic that is like a mat. There are these invisible hands that the job is to feed. There are these invisible hands that feed everybody. It's feeding itself because it created all these beings. It's its own creation. It's operating through all these beings. So it has to support it itself. It feeds itself. Yet it appears to be that you are doing it. It looks like it. It feels that way. That you and I, I am taking care of myself, but that's not true. It takes care of me. And even if you come and understand it and find out, most of the time you continue doing what you were doing. Just because you came to understand it, it doesn't mean you're no longer going to be responsible. You'll continue following your program. It can change, but it's unlikely. Most of the time when even you realize that you're not the one who's doing it, you're still operating out of the old program of being responsible but you're not attached to it. And when you're not responsible, you don't beat yourself up. 